How to fix access point temporarily full error on Windows 11. Method 1. Change the preferred network band on your computer. Right-click the Start Menu button and select Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, expand the Network Adapters list and select the adapter you use to connect to your Wi-Fi. Right-click the Wi-Fi adapter and click Properties. In the Wi-Fi Adapter Properties window, select the Advanced tab. In the Property section, select Preferred Band. This option may have a different name depending on your network adapter's manufacturer. Open the value drop-down menu and select Prefer 5 GHz Band or Prefer 2.4 GHz Band. You can also select No Preference. Click OK to save the changes. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Method 2. Modify the Internet Router Network Band Settings. Open your web browser and go to the IP addresser URL provided at the bottom of the router. Enter the username and password and access the router's settings. The default name and password are also provided at the bottom of the router, unless they have been changed. If your router is dual-band and supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, go to the dual-band settings and make sure that 2.4 and 5 GHz bands are enabled. Click Save to save the settings. Then, navigate to the icons tray in the taskbar and click the Internet Access icon. Click the Manage Wi-Fi Networks arrow next to the Wi-Fi icon. Select either your 2.4 or 5 GHz network and click Connect. If you can't connect to your 2.4 GHz network, try connecting to the 5 GHz network. Method 3. Increase the connection's limit in router settings. Open your web browser and go to the IP addresser URL provided at the bottom of the router. Enter the username and password and access the router's settings. The default name and password are also provided at the bottom of the router. In your router settings, navigate to the bandwidth control settings and disable the session limit setting. Then, save the modified settings. Then, navigate to your wireless 2.4 GHz network settings. Go to Wireless MAC Filtering. Disable Wireless MAC Filtering and save the modified settings. Navigate to your wireless 5 GHz network settings. Go to Wireless MAC Filtering. Disable Wireless MAC Filtering and save the modified settings. Changing these settings will remove any session and device limits preventing you from connecting to your Wi-Fi. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware.
Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's Duplicate File Finder and Big Files Finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel.